Hi, I recently did a video on how to set up a dedicated server for R Factor 2. One thing I did miss off, and I apologise for that, is how to configure it so you can host your own DLC, the stuff you've paid for. Um, and I'm just going to quickly cover that for you. So it's reasonably straightforward. Um, if you just launch your mod manager, you can see at the moment it's R Factor 2 mod manager, it's an up and right through it. Once you've set it up to enable you to host your DLC, you'll have an extra line there. It says keys loaded or something like that. And that's when you know you've, you've sorted it. So just close it off for a sec. So basically what you need to do is this, I'm on my server machine again. Um, well, team viewed onto it from my games machine. So if I fire up Explorer, File Explorer, it's going to my R Factor 2 user data folder. That's where we're going to be working from. You'll probably have in here a, f a little file that's called um, serverunlock.bin or something like that. We'll show it in a minute. But because I've just deleted some stuff to create this video, I need to start from scratch. So the first time you fire up your server, which is hosting, say, community mods, obviously you can host them as is, there's no problems with them. Right, so if I fire up the server now, you can see there's another file appear there, server keys dot bin. Just run it through anyway. As I say, you might not need to do this step if you've already run a server with modded content. So that's running. Once you've done that, exit. So either way, you should have that server keys dot bin file on there. Now what I need to do is transfer that onto my machine where I play the game, which is my full version. Um, so if we use the file and transfer option in TeamViewer, what we'll do, it should be pretty much preset already here. So I'm in R Factor 2 user data on my games machine here, and then this side is the server machine. So what I need to do is grab that server keys dot bin, send it to the same folder over on my games machine. That's done. Close that. I'll we'll leave that open. Now, if I flip back to my desktop machine and go to the same folder, which is that one there, you know it's not. It's that one there. There's that file I've just transferred over, 2nd of July at 10:40. Now, what I need to do is just simply run R Factor 2 single player once. Yeah. Just if it was quick, then you would have seen what happened. Then I'll just carry it through, and I'm not going to kill it. Once we, we can just exit. Okay, so exit from that. Close that one. So what you can see now in my games machine folder you've now got a serve unlock dot bin so it's created a couple of minutes after that one all you need to do is send that back to the server machine in the same location so if we go back to the team viewer files and extras open file transfer there he is server unlock on my gaming machine send it over to the server machine there he is I can close that launch mod manager can assume it's all worked. Keys loaded. And that's it. You can now host any content you purchase. One thing I'm, I'm really not sure on is every time you buy a new DLC, you might have to rerun this process and just delete them two files and, and do it again. You can always try it. I've not tried it to be honest. I've just done it as a matter of course. Anyway, I hope that helps. Catch you later.